It's locked. It's probably going to get the guards to try and kill me. Okay, if you ever do another playthrough with this again, Cannibal. have an intelligence less than three. Intelligence less than three, I'm guessing maybe because a cannibal. Because having intelligence of three or less grants a special intelligence check. If the character has intelligence really low, dialogue options will appear to be short, miles, so monosyllables. Yeah, barely any sentences. And you can also speak into one of the optional companions. But by intelligence three or less, will convince him to become the companion by stating partner. this place the boss really has me to come is really to complicated the and stuff. Suite. You're smart. Can you help you can me bring do your stuff? Too. Be like a little clubhouse for Fair enough. And, it's together. and it's basically the mind, past enclave. You're the only one gets to see character. the character. Any friends you got? And basically, having Enjoy one game, intelligence partner. gives you this. My favorite little name for. Your intelligence level, sub brick. Excellent. Anyway, let's go. Having visit. two, you're a vegetable. Having three, it's cretin. So. Oh, sweet. It's kind of funny. Anyway. So now I'm here in the presidential suite. I'm going to sleep an hour and see if that somehow fixes. No, why would I ever fix anything? Uh, why would it ever help me? Today's physician. Anything of value in any of these rooms? Today's physician. There's a lot of health stuff right here. Yeah, you know, let's just loot everything, because why not? I mean, that's all I'm ever going to use this place for. Loot. Just rob it. You're probably never really coming... Wait, which place is this? Oh, Presidential you suite. Your, you can send your companions here. Ah, uh, okay. That's nice to know. Yeah, oh, it becomes what was the your... Boy light? It becomes your main base other than... It becomes your main base in a place where you can gather all your companions in one unified place. Fair enough. Let's see, is there anything here bottle cap related? Nope. Useless. There's and a also, kitchen. When you kill Mr. House, make sure you have a nine iron with you. <sighs> I know the achievement all too well. I'm just trying to make sure you knew so you can get that extra experience. Because we all know tasty, tasty experience. I mean, you have potential for infinite experience in this. Just through combats yes. alone. Yes, but it's easier just to get it faster. Fair enough. Anyway. Let's go and pick up our dudes. Do, pick up the dudes back out to the cocktail lounge. Oh, wait. This is not the place I'm supposed to be. Well... I guess. I mean, I could definitely get a nice feel for this place by exploring it. If only it weren't in third person. Enforced in third person. Sorry. And all these things are set up by beer bottles. Interesting. Ooh, more magazines. I'm stuck. I can't move. There we go. Is there anything else that's useful in here? No, just ashtrays and the like. Well, Victor, where are you hiding? Get me out of here. I think I can also take the elevator myself. You're just not letting me. Freaking house. I guess down to the casino. Could I play games against the robots? No. Uh, no, Have a nice day. you cannot, sadly. Aw, that's a bigger disappointment than anything else seen so far. Well, you want to quickly do that one quest to get the sheriff for Prim real quick, so you can use that casino, casino, casino and... as well. 
I think I'm strong enough to be able to take on that location. For the tech... all you need is a all you need is a suit of faction hey, armor. There. I have a message to for sneak you. in. It's from and Ambassador Crockett. Caps to drive your way through Here you go. the door. Oh, we got another person. What is it? Yes, we do. Vincent Crazy. I already did say hi, albeit I don't recognize the man. I might just be crazy myself. Okay. I don't recognize him either, although who am I? I'm not the owner of this channel. I'm just the bastard you have on here to keep you awake. Wow. Oh gosh, how do I get Edie to follow me? Follow? You just tell him to follow you? There we go, found it. That's Sorry, it was hidden. Anyway. You can hockey a command to have him follow you and stop for you. I mean, yes, I can, but I could also do other things. Anyway, so where is... There's the NCR Correctional Facility, which is nearby the Repcon test site. So let us actually go set up the quest. And let's just start clearing some of these side quests out of here. Yeah, just be very... Just walk toward... Okay, fast travel not to Prim, but if you're going to fast travel, fast travel to the air strip, not the airstrip, but the skydiving place, run from me. walk towards New Vegas, you'll see some powder gangers. Kill them, they just got done raping a woman and murdering her a little while ago. Fair enough. And take their armor and go sneak into the correct correctional facility. Or we could just walk in. We have Boone and Edie. It's yes, not like it's impossible. Yes, but that might piss off the... It might piss off the... The candidate that you're trying to get for sheriff. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. How to piss them off? Who knows? I'll just assume that one of the patches fixed that bug, and we'll just be on our way there. Yep, and Rockefeller said, yum, squirrel on a stick. I know, extra crispy, right? Nice and blackened and, and charred, just to deal with the fact that they carry bubonic plague out here. At I least, never knew they carried bubonic plague. Uh, in the deserts? In the deserts of the American, of like uh, Texas, I believe. No, somewhere down there, there's actually some of the parasites on the furrier creatures that actually carry the bubonic plague. If you're not careful, you can actually catch it. Good to know. Of course, you, oh, of course, nowadays it's kind of. Just a minor, it's kind of like the flu. Yes. You just it... go to, they just, you go to the hospital, they give you some. Um, Antibiotics, then you home. You exist, and you should be fine. Anyway, I'm doing some more fast traveling around to see if I could find my way there. Also, there's actually very, something very important I should do at Good Springs. Why am I fighting coyotes? I'm not going to question it. Because you want to? And what armor are you wearing? Uh, I think it's just the Wasteland Settler. Because Which it gave me gives you no protection. No protection, but gave me raw stats. Raw stats are useless compared to having protection. Shush! I can look as faffed about as I'd like. I'm also gonna get and the Brahmin skull helmet. You added a Brahmin. You added that mod. Yep. I just need to find the seller, the vendor for it, and it's supposedly in Good Springs. I just can't remember where. I don't remember who vends it. You're now the high... You're going to become the high priest of Adler. Yes, Adler. That's who it was. I couldn't remember. Praise be to Adler. Now, who's the vendor that's supposed to sell it out here? Might be Chet. If it... It might just add it to Chet's inventory. Possibly, but I thought it ended like added a specific vendor. I'll double check. I'll go... Through the mod list and check. Also, what's the weight command? Because I don't remember. Wait. I think it's R. Or T. 
That's eh, neither of those. Oh well, I'll just find some poor Sap's bed. I think. I think you changed it. Maybe. Okay. Brown Skull Mass, New Vegas. Yeah, it's Good Springs General Store. In front of the counter, you can steal it. Ah, uh, okay. Looks of it. I think it's free to just pick up. All right, going to pick it up right now then. If not, it's nighttime. Chet's probably asleep, so you can just sneak in and take it. Ah, uh, all the problem. Wow, there's a lot of them. There is. I can't wait to see that. It, it, actually, let me get. Let me just get a good image of it. All the Brahmin skulls. Praise Antler. Praise be to Antler. Where's the Brahmin skull? That's aid, not apparel. It gives me additional Wait. unarmed too, which is great. <laughs> and you know what? You want to be a good command for this? Praise be to Antler. Holy shit! I like this mod that... now. You know what? Okay, I think we're just going to go through this game just looking this way. Are you going to take them all for your companions too? And force them to wear them? Ah, oh, I should, but I'm not going to. Come on. Why is one of the options the gun runners? Oh, NCR. Right. Wait. Who knows? The other mask ha might have different effects. No, I think they just all provide extra protection. Like, they have... I, now I'm actually wearing check. a little extra armor. I'll check. Good springs in front of the front cap. I'm not sure. It doesn't say anything about its stats or anything. I'm currently making my way to the correctional facility. Problem is I'm going to have to kind of skirt oh the God. edge of the death claws. You can wear it with helmets. Yep. I'd rather I'm not. Just looking at... I'd rather not skirt the edge of the death claws, but I don't think there's another way to the correctional facility that's any faster. Which for you got the new version, right? Version two. Possibly. I'm just double checking because I was afraid you might have grabbed the glitch ver version since there's the version one. What's the glitch version? I'm not sure. I All I know is usually if there's a version 2, the version 1 was glitchy as fuck. Possibly. That might be why there's so many Brahmin Skull masks. Well, that's one dead coyote. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm still working my way to the correctional facility, hopefully not encountering any death claws or Cazadors. Okay, I'm going to look up a mod for a hood for you. Oh, you, uh, you want me to be the cultist of Antler? Yes. No, High Priest, sorry. There's no cult here. Antler is the, organi is the uh, officially recognized state religion. It's the state religion of Vegas. Yep. Worship it or Wasteland die, hood. bastards. Okay, found the mod already. Wasteland Hoods. This isn't going to look terrifying at all to anyone. It's just, this random guy comes up, blows away the entire opposition, and then proceeds to walk away. Brahmin skull mask in tow. <laughs> okay, they come in black and cloth. I think I know the one you want. Of course, go, everything looks better in black. Working on my way to the correctional facility. I don't know why there are powder gangers down here. And the mask covers your, the lower part of your face, so that goes well with the antler mask. I'd kill you right now if I could. That guy's got cold eyes. Definitely ex-military. Okay, I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna post a link for you in the Discord chat. Rather not have a broken leg, so let's fix that with a doctor's bag. There we go. My limbs are no yeah. longer killing me. And I'm pretty sure right now they're all like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. All Potentially. Those Excuse me, I'm just gonna chug like 15 Sunset Sarsaparillas yeah. to get them out of my inventory and just keep going. And get all the free bottle caps off of them. Uh, Sunset Sarsaparillas, we're looking for the specialty ones. Okay. I find it funny how I'm looking at you, looking at all the powder gangers at the site. I'm surprised they're not attacking you on site. Uh, I think I made nice with them. No, I remember you attacked Joe Cobb. Joe Cobb? I did, and I think I got them to fear me. No, that puns you as vilified, which is... You should be disliked by them, but whatever. Who knows? Anyway, time to kill some geckos. Eh, nah, if they're gonna leave me well, be. I, well, I think you can sneak into the little place just fine. Oh, yeah, because if they're not. If these guys don't hate me for no good reason, then, well, I could just walk, waltz on in. Waltz on in, talk to them, and do the quest in there, which. You can cause them to, well, you can get them to end up submitting to the NCR and doing the prison sentences if you want at the end of the quest. Fair enough. Anyway, getting closer to the correction of... I don't know why they're friendly to me. Maybe one of the mods broke something. Who knows? Yeah, I think one of your mods broke something because you're hated. You should be shot on sight. I'd kill you right now if I could. Any law well, technically, I'm after... vilified by the time I'm th at this point, so who knows? We won't have it easy. Or maybe there's a specific resolution with um person who needs Medex, that guy. Because he basically calls you the Grim Freaking Reaper. Maybe they're actually just afraid of me. No, it's whenever you have negative opinion, negative action okay that's Maybe. when they're supposed to hate you yeah that's why he calls you the grim fucking reaper yep open the and gate now even, and now you even finish your disguise with it i'd kill you if i could right now look at you walking yeah in they like hate you i just Don't you know this i think because you're not territory. vilified they're not trying to kill you ah oh, fair enough what is this place this this is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. Who's in charge of the prison now? That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. What exactly is a powder ganger? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. I need to get rid of you. If you're free, why are you sticking around? We've got the biggest, baddest fort in the wasteland. There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. You need to end up in here. Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. You've heard of the hub, right? It's, uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. I heard of it. I don't think much of it, but I heard of it. Can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. <sighs> Fine. All right, you can go on in. Can't guarantee your safety, though. Just saying. Yeah. Goodbye. Now, go talk to the little... Talk to the sheriff Hello. candidate. I was tell you to go. Yeah. You, know anyone would willingly walk you talk into this to him, place. he'll tell Not you, go talk to the trouble. NCR to get him What's pardoned. You get him pardoned. He comes... He you talk to him again, he runs back. He becomes mayor. Boom, bada, boom, bada, bing. 
there's a little vent inside of the Lucky, not the Lucky 38, but the Vicky and Vance Casino where there's a couple idiots in there threatening you with guns trying to rob you. And then they die because of Boone, and we're good. What'd you do before you ended up in here incarcerated? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. And I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. <sighs> what happened in the prison? I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? It was Cook. Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Where can I find him? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. Fair enough. Why are you still here? I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. Who's in charge of the powder gangers? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Well, how would you feel about becoming Prim's new sheriff? I think you're an upstanding gentleman. Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. I mean, you take the law into your own hands? When I need to? Yes. Have a deal. All right, then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. Well, time to go say hi to Prim. What am I hitting? I keep trying to hit M to open up map, but it's not working. Okay, anyway. Let's... To the Mojave Outpost. A place I haven't been to in forever. Yep. Oh, well, this is an interesting quest to end it on. Finally finishing off Prim. Okay, so you're just prospectors with your guns pointing at me. Okay. Morning. Oh, that's right. Since it's Asperillas, I drank like 15 of them. Greetings, greetings, Major Knight. Been doing a lot of good work out there. Is that all right, hang on. I need to talk to you about Prim. Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? One of the convicts from NCRF is looking for a pardon so we can protect Prim. One of the powder gangers? They've been nothing but trouble for us. Why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity? The sentence was almost up, and he's not tied to the powder gangers. All right. If his sentence was closing up, I can see about getting him pardoned. Prim is important to our trade up from California, so having someone there owes us a favor. That couldn't hurt. Fair enough. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Knight. One of the many, many boyfriends I apparently have in this. I wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Anyway, now to finally finish this stupid thing off. And I found a suit of ropes for you, too. Excellent. They're now called it's the reinforced. Blood. It's the reinforced robe mod, and it looks like they're black. Fair enough. Blood for antler and all that rot. Although there will be slight clipping, it should be fine. Robots myself. It's because of vanilla armor problems. Is he still in there? Oh, that's my own stuff. Okay. Okay, back to Prim. Can't fast okay. travel from inside here. Is there a giant skull that you can play as in Dominions? Or? No, no. You can get close with like a blood fountain and stuff like that, but you can't actually get a giant skull. Come on. We need to do a pr 
you need to do a praise antler run. Praise antler, god of blood. Yes. You know, I don't actually think that's a horrible idea. Yeah, just replace. Just do that instead of your. Instead of undying for the next couple streams. Hey, youngster. Still and I'm pretty on sure. Trim. Um. Potentially. Because, come on, praise Antler. It could very well be a case of praise Antler. Now, hang on, better question is. Okay, I must be stupid and blind because I can't find the other guy. Hang on. Where'd he go? He's inside the casino. Is he there inside of his casino or he's inside of that? Have that, you seen that tower on strip all lit up? His you business. For miles. There's Slim, but I don't want to do Slim. I want the Myers ending. Where's the Myers ending? You just have to tell him. Did you talk to Myers yet? I'm trying to find him. He's in the cafeteria. Where you met him the first time? I went there. He's not actually there anymore. I'll double check real quick. Having three locations sucks dick. Yep. Okay, found the Meyer. I found him. Oh. Found him. Okay. Thanks for getting me that pardon. Me and the boys will take good care of Prim. Don't you worry. Fair enough. Watch your... Well, my kind of town is over and done with. Time to go chat with Prim and see what's going on. Now that the side quest is finally freaking done. <laughs> okay. I think there might be because of New Vegas Uncut. There'll be a small speech by Myers with a group of inmates that he has under his control. Ah. Uh, well, I see everyone's going towards the same spot, so maybe, just maybe there'll be one. Yeah, everyone's heading out, so there is going to be a small speech. Shall we take a look? Yep. It's slightly funny. In all its third person glory, with the man. N the Priest of Antler in the back. Praise Antler. Apparently. Okay, now where's everyone going? Eh, uh, they're probably just patrolling. I keep hearing about. Or are you talking about the people the inside the? Must have delivered more than just mail. If they're the people inside the casino, they're just leaving. Fair enough. I guess I'll go try and talk with Jonathan. Yeah. And if you wait like three days, the casino's up and running. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim. And Yonsen. Deputy Hats Bugle, to talk to him. Uh, okay. So how's because Prim these days? Our new sheriff, as you know. Meyer's a bit rougher hewn than I might have liked, but he seems like a good sort. So far, so good. Some questions about Prim. Well, Oh, wait. What's the Bison Steve? It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old. Across the way from the Vicky and Van. Oh, okay. I already have those questions answered. Anyway, go talk to Deputy Beagle. Yeah, he has a little line about it. You're a freaking idiot. Why would you take this man? No. No, it's not that. That tower on the strip? The one you can see from my. Where is Mr. Beagle? He just, he's outside. He was walking towards his home, I believe. Found him. Well, if it isn't the lawbreaker. What's your problem now? My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a beagle now. Oh. Apparently two and a half months of law enforcement experience doesn't count for anything. The new regime is just that. All new. He's a good sheriff, but a hard man. He doesn't abide by anyone slinking by the rules. 
I guess there won't be any trouble, but the man's law is hard. Oh. Well, if it is. Well. And everything's now how it should be. Beagle's fired because he's a useless idiot. So the Beagle. The town is. And the town is nice and orderly and will be fixed up in just a few days. You know, I yeah. think this calls for. I think this calls for a long, long, three day long rest at um, Novak. You think so? Okay. Might as well. And in fact, we might make this a week long rest, for I think I will call it here after a good hour of New Vegas. Yeah, might as well. Considering. And next I... stream, you have to complete a Larry High Priest uniform. Yep. This is my okay. hotel room, right? Yes, it is. I can't uh, believe we're doing this, making the cultist of Antler. I mean, it makes perfect sense. I'm apparently also sleeping with Boone, so why not? Nah, I'm pretty sure Boone will just walk down to his hotel room. Oh, I forgot he had one. Yeah. I think Eddie will curl up, will just land right next to you. And lay on your legs at most. Okay, you have to realize that'd be actually exceedingly painful. Well, Eddie has the personality of a robotic dog. What do you expect? That'd probably find a better place than to be right on my legs, crushing them. Well, he's a robotic pet that you're walking around with and technically if you had a mod one of the mods I had it's the more perked mod it adds a perk for Eddie that has that lets you tune use him to tune into radios so you have a walking radio ah uh, fair enough so I have him turn tune into whatever radio station I'm in the mood for well, we're going to naturally save the game on a separate save slot, and then we're going to call it a night.